For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. When it comes to advances in robots that are used for sex, for um, re- relationships, for perhaps companionship uh, and other things, generally, are you, are you quite positive about movements in that direction? I'm very positive. And the reason I'm so positive is that I see robots as being the answer to the prayers of all those millions of people all over the world who are lonely because they have no one to love and no one who loves them. And for these people, uh, they might have psychological problems, they might have psychosexual problems, social problems, they might not be appealing to the um, people they would like to be appealing to, all sorts of reasons. Um, They have a huge void in their lives, and this void will be filled when there are very human-like robots around with whom they can form emotional attachments, have sexual relationships, and even marry them. Is that not an indictment, though, of humans that we've that we are not fulfilling that we are there are so many people who are lonely uh, is it, it is it not something of an abnegation of our duty to be caring for each other rather than simply saying well let the robots do it I, I don't think it's realistic to believe that we could possibly be sufficiently caring for each other to um, take care of the huge number of people who suffer from such problems um, I think that robots are really the only answer uh, a lot of people ask the question Uh, why is it better to be in love with or have sex with a robot than with a human? Uh, To my mind, that's the wrong question. I think the real question is, is it better to have love and sex with robots or no love and sex at all? Is there a danger that we we change the way we think about sexuality and romance? If if essentially you're doing something to a subject rather than it being something that that can equally um, have its own range of emotions and will and, and psychology and so on? To some extent, I mean, there are people who argue that um, sex robots objectify women because most sex robots in the first instance are going to be female in form. I disagree. I don't think they objectify women. I think what sex robots do is to humanize robots. Um, So I don't see a problem there at all. Well, lots to uh, lots to respond to in that. Martin, you look like you want to respond immediately. Go ahead. Well, uh, well, there's an inconsistency, isn't there, in that um, uh, if if you think that these robots are going to be realistic enough and human-like enough to be uh, emotional partners, as it were, uh, then shouldn't one consider their feelings and say, do they want to uh, be linked with this uh, um, repulsive person? You've got to ask that <laughs> question. And so I think there's an inconsistency in the in, in the aim of what's being said, that uh, if they are um, sufficiently like a human to uh, 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 be a substitute, uh, then we have to think about their feelings. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, robot rights and so on. I mean, John, what, I suppose these are the dilemmas that are thrown up yeah, by, yeah. By, by all of this, isn't it, John? What's, what's your feeling on those? Yes. I don't think we're going to get there, no. but, uh, but, but, but those who take this view seriously are going to have to worry about this for consistency. Yeah. John, go ahead. Yeah, I completely agree. I, th- I, think, this, I, I think this is a fascinating um, point about... Uh, we all understand the difference between rape and consensual sex. And, uh, and yet the question is exactly that. If you have a sex robot who is to all intents and purposes uh, behaving like a human being, then do you have to ask consent? Do you have to take their feelings into, into account? And, they, and, and if you're so repulsive that no human being wants to have intimate relations with you, <laughs> then maybe... You know, I, there is a very serious element to all this. I mean, we're, we're partly making it humorous, but there's a very serious element to this. And it is this confusion. Uh, what I see happening is, is that previously, until this point, we all pretty well agreed that there was a kind of fairly clear barrier between where we were having relationships with other human beings and where we were having, quotes, relationships with beings that were non-humanoid, you know. And yes, it's true that the little girl uh, has her teddy bear or her doll and talks to it and so on, but actually the little girl knows perfectly well that this is not a real baby, and that when the little girl actually meets a real baby, she behaves in a completely different way from the way that she would behave uh, with a doll. So so we up until this point, we've always had psychologically and uh, relationally um, this this understanding that there's a difference and now what we're doing is we're creating this third entity this blurred blurring 
uh, where it's not really human, but it's almost human. And mm. and then how do I respond to this? And I'm my greatest concern is with children who, you know, who grow up with this. If your earliest experience as as uh, your earliest memories are talking to Alexa and playing with your robotic dog, you know, what does that do? Um, and, and Sherry Turkle, who's a very thoughtful commentator on all this, she, she has written, the problem will not be, do we, will we come to love our robots? The, the question will be, what will love mean? In other words, it's that redefinition of, of relationships. And, and in particular, a kind of transactional relationship. I mean, historically, and I think this is where, uh, this is partly from a Christian perspective, that we, um, Christians and others have always understood human relationships as as touching on something immensely profound. You know, the, at their highest level, this reaching out to another, of giving to another, and so on, is something deep, deeply profound. And what's being replaced by is this kind of transactional understanding that that I press these buttons, this thing smiles at me, it makes me feel happy. That's a relationship. Hmm. Do you share those concerns as well, Martin? Yes, I couldn't have expressed them so well, but I completely agree with with that uh, reaction to this uh, scenario. 